All right, welcome to round 12. It's round 12 of Grand Prix Dallas Fort Worth. You're watching Gigi's Live. Uh, Dallas Fort Worth brought to you by pastimes.net. We are about to watch Guillaume Waffletoffer on the right, on the left actually. I'm sure he's playing some type of um, blue base control, control deck. And we have Dan Jordan on the right. Not sure exactly what he's playing. And the I booth, Shot Miller, believe. Brian Kowal rudely interrupting me. I was going to tell you what Dan Jordan's playing, but we don't want to know. So I'm gonna I, tell I you. mean, we don't know what. Okay, I do want to know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brian Kowal. Well, in a rather out there choice. I believe Dan Jordan is playing. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Chicago! <laughs> is is Waffle Top playing blue black? I would love for him to not be playing Cargo. I have no idea what. You know what? Even though Cargo can play the control game, I think that that's the type of deck that Waffle Top would not play. That's the type of control deck he would play. He's more of a purist. Yeah. He's, he's more. He's a purist. Yeah. One, like one or two win conditions, a bunch of counter spares, a bunch of removal, and some card draw. He's not into this, oh, I can play the aggro deck because I have eight to ten creatures in my deck. Definitely he's, not. He's not doing that. Never, ever, ever. He keeps it real. He does keep it real. That's why we got 28 land in his deck. He's keeping it real with six cards, though. I wish we could hear the uh, the quick banter probably being shot back and forth right now at the table. <laughs> it probably has everything to do with Mana Leak. They're just they're just talking about Mana Leak. How awesome it is. Yeah. I like Mana I'm sure you guys you guys can hear the players, but we're just kinda we just have to read lips because we're re lip reading professionals. Williams known as one of the bigger trash talkers on the tour. He's such a trash talker. He's like he was like, Hey, how you doing? He's like Fine. And then when he passes the turn, he's like, <laughs> "You didn't see. Uh, <laughs> you, you didn't hear what uh, Rashad did there, but he just silently uh, presented his hand." It, it was pretty. It was pretty turn. trashy the way I did it too. It was the trash talkiest pass of the turn yeah, with yeah. my hand. Very ever. disdainful. And um, for all you guys who are friends with me on Good Facebook. Video first. I would like someone to purchase this elephant plush toy with the I Love Rashad t-shirt. It's only 10 pounds, not the not in weight and uh, currency. Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk. Back that, to the game. That's a swamp out of um, which makes me think he's, he's probably on Darkblade. <laughs> <laughs> and all that Jordan has for turn two is a Mortipod. Maybe he's just trying to bait a counter out there. So, sorry, Dan Jordan. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We are joined by Luis Scott Vargas. By some dirtle. <laughs> yeah, that's some, good hacker some, some guy. LSV, welcome to the show. All right, we got this. We got Waffle Topper versus Dan Jordan. We do. All right. Mortal not exactly the, 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 the two drop you want in this matchup. Uh, that guy's There's, gonna go to town. How much damage is that? That plays a few yeah, better ones. One. <laughs> <laughs> Probably at most one too. <laughs> you, you always get one. But. <laughs> Spreading seed. Yeah, I mean, if it gets to this point, and the, the, I think the blue-black deck starts to be a lot more favored, but <laughs> the blue-white deck, you know, if it resolves a two-drop on turn two, it, you know, that's why the matchup's good for blue-white, but... I didn't know this deck was still legal. It seems like... Blue-black deck? You, Only you, it seems, right year, it's it seems years ago that anybody ran this deck. <laughs> it did well in Barcelona. Yeah, it did do well in Barcelona. In the hands of Waffle Hopper, so... And, and the guy who won, I guess, but... So, <laughs> Squadron Hawk from Dan Jordan is going to go and get some friends. Or maybe he's not going to have opportunities. Still well, Waffle going to try to counter it. It does not look like it'll succeed. But, but if he taps out for mana leak, then Waffle can play a Jace. Waffle always has the Jace. I mean, <laughs> he probably plays six of them or something. <laughs> well, he did mulligan. He could be because he didn't have Jace. Yeah, it's true. He's small, aggressive mulls of Jace. Well, the right. line on Jace and Waffle Top of X is probably about six and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so he's going to fight over to Hawk because otherwise he just does nothing. But if Waffle's got a Jace, which it looks like, he does not. So. I guess if he draws a land, he could preordain into a Jace. But otherwise, the Hawks might actually be. Uh, he draw a land. Uh, it was not tapping. Yeah, right, I mean Hawks do pressure him a little bit. It's not like insane, but. Yeah. So 
No, Another no, spreading like seeds. A, a spreading seeds and something else. Hey, well, Waffle's got a Grave Titan, but Dan doesn't really need to tap out too much. It looks like he's going to keep spreading seeds into another pyramid. Spend the turn cycling. <laughs> <laughs> keep the catch wedge going. I guess he did have a, a fourth one. Spreading seeds yeah. on the. Is that a sea coast? Yeah. Sea coast? And then pass. He doesn't. Even though I don't think Waffle has a counter, he doesn't really want. He wants to represent that he does. Looks like Preordain, Doomblade, Grave Titan, and Dark Six Shores, yeah. You gotta keep it in their head that you can counter. And Dan, looks like he drew a Jace, so. <laughs> so it was probably good that Waffle would not type out there. Grave Titan does Trump Squadron, though. Know? It, it, it does, just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. You know, the, the future turns. Well, I guess the first turn, because it gets into those four damage. Yeah, yeah. He's got the mortar pod, don't, don't forget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> forgot about that one. Ooh, he just goes, goes for the Jace, and it's going to resolve. Jace yeah. to my spell. Yeah. I'm pretty forward. sure Waffle's actually dead now. He calls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not a bad call, especially since, since Dan doesn't have any counters in his hand. He might as well just go for it, and if it resolves, he just wins. Yeah. And even if it doesn't, it's not like his mana could have been that much better. Spent. Right. It's, it's yeah. just when, you, when you have lots of threats and not many uh, yeah. answers, you might as well just keep running threats. You just play Colonnade. So, Waffle now has to has to draw an untapped land in order to play Grave Titan. Right. He drew his own Jace, but he's just on the back foot now. I don't think Jace killing your Jace after they brainstorm like wins you the game. <laughs> it, I mean, it's better than alternative. Right? Yeah, yeah. Jace just sticking around forever. <laughs> but, forever. But Jace always finds another Jace, and then you're in the same position, but you're down a Jace, and it's just, it's just yeah. very horrible. And uh, Waffle Topper goes with the preordain. Yeah, he didn't have an untapped sixth land. Yeah, he doesn't like what he sees, so ships him both to the bottom. Not a whole lot in his deck that's actually live right now, actually. Anyway, he's just gonna kill the kill the Jace, and I guess. Yeah. Of course, Dan's now gonna play another Jace uh, or a Gideon, but. Jace is actually still a better, better play. Do you have the second Jace? Yeah, he, he brainstormed into it. He has Jace and two Gideons and... Um... No, he didn't put two Hawks back on top. Well, he should have put a Hawk and like a Jace on top of it in case he got the rest. Like, you don't really need to hide the second Hawk there. But, yeah, pretty yeah. relevant, I guess. Yeah. Vandron plays an island, and he is going to... He's going to lead with the Hawk. Squadron Hawk. I guess he wants to, to shuffle and then maybe play a Jace. Shuffle play to Jace Brainstorm. Yeah. I mean, if he could Fate Seal Waffle too, that's, I guess, an option. I think Dane Dordig could play a card from his hand at random for us the game, and he would still probably win this one. <laughs> 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 that, that there should be achievements to unlock <laughs> yeah, doing, doing magic feature matches. Yeah. <laughs> There's Jace to my sculpt. They're a little bit half off the screen, but. You know what that guy looks like. You've seen yeah. enough of him. <laughs> Trust us. He takes him up to five, and I think he's trying to decide who to fate seal. I mean, it's fate seal waffle at this point. Like, you have everything you need here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, does, does that's, he pretty, get it? that's a pretty aggressive fate seal. Like, like, whoa, it's mine. Yeah. I like this I like one. <laughs> I mean, waffle's deck's pretty, you know, foil and all that. Like, I, I want some of those cards. Yeah. Four and all foil Japanese Jaces. <laughs> foil Jaces, you're probably plus EV to you know, try to sneak that in your pocket. Yeah, it's a squadron out, sneaks in oh, look, there. Liliana Vest, that's a real card right now. Off the top of the down to 17, 17 to 20 right now. I mean, at this point, he's just got to run out of Grave Titan and hope it actually works, I guess. I don't know. It's Waffle, I guess. He can't let his opponent have Jace. So. Right. <laughs> he understands how good it is. Yeah. Get it, Big Twinger. So now he's, what, yeah, Tumble in there? I guess now you just start dropping Gideon. Seems like a good enough time now. Someone's out there, you know, he's after, he can't have more. He can't have Gideons in his hand waiting for him. And I don't know. Another who. Jace? Alright. Oh, we can just keep Sculpture dropping Sculpture number three. Oh, he's <laughs> sculpting the perfect hand. So now, you know. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> I, have to, I have to do, make a sound so that people know when you, you know, make a card. Oh. Oh, it slips by a lot. Okay, that's true, that's true. That, that's a good one. They don't get it, it's pretty sweet, too. I missed it. Yeah, <laughs> I say sculpted. Yeah, mine sculpted. So, yeah, I guess he's fate sailing and play a hawk or maybe have mana leak up. I mean, he doesn't have mana leak. I guess he's going to play a tumble magnet to protect his Jason, maybe. 
You can do that anytime. Mm -hmm. Tone Bandit also just blanks Great Titan pretty well, just because, mm -hmm. you know, you get the two zombies, but he's just not going to do anything. Right. Though I guess he does actually have to kill off top eventually. <laughs> Though the Jace seem like they're doing a pretty good job of it. Yeah, I mean, he's got two squadron hawks. Those guys are a clock. Tick tock. And there's a third one. Five turn clock. Yeah. He doesn't have any left in his deck? He didn't want to shuffle. He must have put a good one on top. Is there, I think he, yeah, he might have had one in his hand right now. Looks like it. He should have one more in his hand. Yeah. Way. Okay, so yeah, the BSR aren't anything there. Dan Jordan verifying that Wolf guy is indeed playing all foils. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really care what's in your graveyard, I just want to look at these cards again. It's a creeping tarp pit attacks Jace down to I two actually don't pounds. think that's right. I think I think Wolf needed to play Grave Titan there. Like he's not actually gonna grind out Jace here. I think, I think <laughs> Waffle Tapa has made his choice. Yeah. Okay, look. Jace I must think, die. Yeah, Waffle Tapa, if he thought he was doing so Lightning Bolt and Jace was at three, he'd probably take Jace. Like, <laughs> 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 I've seen Waffle Tapa not block an infiltration lensed guy, even if it was lethal, just as a point with Dante cards. <laughs> I also might be exaggerating a little bit. But. <laughs> Brainstorm. Alright. I mean, he's seeing a bunch of new cards, but you could probably kill him with the Hawks and the Colonnade from here. Do you think Waffle Top was just wired to look at every card at, at, in the exact, like, plus minus amount of cards that it's going to get <laughs> yeah. his opponent? Like, I think from his point of view, he just fate sealed twice, uh, or he just fate sealed once, and it, so it was a do nothing, and now, uh, now if, he, if he brainstorms, he's going to get one card off of him. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's going to attack it this turn and kill it. You know, a little tally on it, but of course the tumble magnet is just going to get him now. He's slowly getting him with those hawks. Not actually even that slowly anymore. Three yeah. turn is, is very significant. Yep, and for three, that's going to bring him off the top of down to 12. And the fourth hawk. United. Hawks unite. Squad complete. I think I put the name of the Fantastic Four on all my squad hawks. Matt has uh, got, you know, Jerry yeah. Kramer, Seinfeld, George, or whatever. Like you've never watched that show. Uh, I haven't watched that much, actually. That check check me up on my horses here on Twitter. <laughs> Paul Rietzel, unfortunately, is now 8-3. I mean, he came in the day at 7-2, so it's 1-1. Yeah. Owen, Owen is 11-0, a, a just crushing the tournament as usual. Yeah. He's going to be his third, third GP top 8 of the year, right? Out, out of four GPs. So. Yeah. He's just on an unreal run lately. And a top 16 of the Pro Tour. Meanwhile, Waffle Topic decided to give up because he couldn't kill Jace that turn. Yeah, he just scooped him. He, like, he could have been at 4 yeah, or 5. Yeah, oh, you, you, Jace you have a Jace, you draw cards. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Waffle Topic just is done. Like, I, I know what that means. Yeah, yeah. And we'd like to thank uh, GamingAssertive.com who um, wants you to blame Kipling for, you know. Probably your, your, maybe your deck choice. Or for Dan Jordan drawing all of his Jaces. Kibler had nothing to do with my deck uh, choice. You can still blame him. I could. <laughs> you can blame him. About, I could blame him for our deck choice in Paris, except we won the tournament and, you know, I've got four right. people in the top 16. So well, you can blame him for good things, <laughs> yeah, too, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's true. You can also pick up all your blame Kibler apparel at uh, GamingEtc.com. Uh, and you can blame Kibler on Facebook. Really? TinyURL.com slash blame Kibler. Also, there's more. What if I want to save some money? More. What if I want to save some money blaming Kibler? Yeah, I like to save it for last because right. it's like dessert or the skin of Popeye's chicken. Um, if you really? um, <laughs> use the coupon code GG's Live, you get 10% <laughs> off of your entire purchase. Nice. Have like, you ever had Popeye's? Like the skin off of Popeye's chicken. But I imagine it's like other fried chicken. LSB eats good food for money. <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, in the fact that it's a chicken fried. I mean, I've had fried chicken before. Is it is it significantly different than a different like fast food place? You're trying to figure out well, how it's better. <laughs> no, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of other fast food places that you would be considering. Doesn't KFC have 11 versions? I think it's different than KFC. Oh, I believe it. I don't think KFC is good. Yeah, KFC isn't good. I had some pretty good fried chicken when we were in Chicago. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I have no idea what Waffle's sideboard plan is here because I can't imagine More not playing mo Jace. most of the most of the good cards in their main deck against well, this matchup. I mean, well, it's obvious he lost to Jace, so he has to he has to bring in something to, to deal with that. Yeah, looks like Damn trust me, Waffle has all his Jace answers in his mind. <laughs> 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 Plan eight. Plan eight Jaces. I mean, Dan's obviously like debating the removal over here, yeah, with like Gideon and, and, and Tumble Magnets and Day Judgments. What do you think about Gideon versus this deck? Um, I actually don't like Gideon against Blue Black. Okay. Because like, it just gets Doombladed, which they yeah. keep in. The, the GP winner seemed to think it was uh, a not, a very, not a very good card yeah. against him. Uh, the thing is, like, plus twoing, it's not that relevant because their attacking creature is a uh, Grave Titan, which just kills it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the zero ability is really not that good either. So. Right. <laughs> I've heard a few people think. I, I, yeah, he's siding him out here, and I, I would recommend that too. Okay. Like, you don't you don't really need Gideon in this matchup. It's the, probably the only matchup. This and Valakut are basically the only matchups where it's not that good. Even though you should keep them versus Valakut anyway. I think I was talking to like Ari Lax and Sam Black yesterday. They were like, they were thinking that like, they were crazy for saying that uh, um, Gideon wasn't good in the matchup. But so this is like, Blue Black? yeah, yeah. It is. Know. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna take a side, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you want to resolve a spell that costs like four to five mana, there are uh, many other spells you could resolve right. that are better. And it takes a lot of effort to force something through that, that you know against blue black because they, they've got a bunch of counters. Sure. And I don't think Gideon's gonna gonna really solve it. Right, and, they, and they might not counter to Gideon. They're like, well, I got all these doom blades. Yeah. Might as well wait for you to think you're gonna get me. Yeah, I watched Waffle Top actually play last round against Blue White, also he lost last round. Uh, Austin Bursovich, the sneaky monkeyless on Magic. <laughs> I, I, I hear he's doing pretty well in the time so Are, uh, are these players both X2? Well, he's gotta be, mm, are these guys X2 or X3? <laughs> I think they're X2. So that means, yeah, that means he's X1 and he just beat Waffle. Oh, wow. I mean, if they turn two Stoneforge and they stake, Waffle couldn't kill it. Like, that's that's the reason I think the Blue White deck is like pretty favored. <laughs> yeah, it has the bitter boss in it. I remember when Magic used to be decided on turn two, but in a different way. Yeah. Like, the game would actually just be over. Or sometimes, you know, yeah. it, would, it would be close to or, over. Or they would cast Jackal Pub. Oh, yeah. Or, I think they kill you on turn four with two Fire Blasts. <laughs> I've, I've done that before. That was Magic. The, the creatures have gotten much, much better. The spells have gotten much, much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Liliana Bats. Doomblade and... Looks like a, maybe a Jace and some... And so, Waffletoppa chose to draw. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's been talking about this. <laughs> well, Waffletoppa is insane. I, I, think had, I think he had to remind him. He's like, oh no, go, I'm, I drew. Waffletoppa's actually just, <laughs> he's just out of control. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> Plus one, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, what, what he gets an extra card out of it. <laughs> I mean, what is the, he can't mana leak their turn two stone force now. I guess he's got probably like seven to eight duress inquisitions to get the sword. Mm -hmm. So that's his plan, but... <laughs> so, so, so if you're playing, so if you're playing against Guillaume and you know he wants to draw, do, do you do you tilt him with the I'm gonna draw? <laughs> no, I think it's wrong. <laughs> I mean, do you maybe board a little like more aggressively? Yeah, I mean you can't like, get too aggressive with the blue white deck. I mean, yeah, yeah, but all your aggressive elements are already your best card advantage spells. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Waffle Tapa does things that I, I would not recommend to people who are not Waffle Tapa, <laughs> but they do work for him. So he, he, that, has, he has his style, he has his yeah, plan, I mean, and, that, and that, he's true to it. That all being said, it's um, unclear about how choosing to draw is the right, is the right choice. <laughs> well, we, we shall see as uh, Waffle Tapa tap, uh, cracks his spell in time. But like Dan's even got a spell piercer, so he puts in sword, and then Waffle what, goes to Doomblade and he spell pierces it. And that's the game. <laughs> Maybe though. I believe in Guillaume. Know, what if he has this figure spell? I do. Guillaume's awesome. Even before I was like playing on the Pro Tour, like or when I first like started going to Pro Tours, but Guillaume was always like definitely the best like control player, and he still you know probably is. Like he, he is actually just unbelievable. He's also unbelievably greedy, as evidenced by the fact that he's on the draw. <laughs> <laughs> 
I remember testing with him for Berlin, actually. I mean, this is when we played Elms, and it was just broken, and we tested it. And Waffle Tapo was just playing decks with careful consideration, and Central Vision, <laughs> and Dillian Click. Uh -huh. And we're like, Waffle, this Elf deck's ridiculous. He's like, eh, I want to draw cards. <laughs> it's just like, okay. I'll do you it. have I'll, fun I'll with your little thing. green yeah. creatures. Yeah. I, I, I guess I think I'll just draw the most cards and win. Yeah, yeah this is gonna work. <laughs> He's gonna spell pierce it, put so, in the sword. Like, so, so Jace Puller. Jace Puller meets a spell pierce and then a sword of piece of hammer hits play. Yeah, he's gonna feast on Waffle very soon here. I mean, and he gets to have throw a, throw a hawk into play. Yeah, he gets shields down, just anything he wants to do here. Choosing a draw, having Stoke or Buddle in your deck, like. <laughs> <laughs> Off top is a madman, I mean, he really is. And th this is, I mean, this is the deck that did well in Barcelona, right? Yeah. I mean, the guy who won Barcelona, Martin, uh, Shinin, or mm -hmm. whatever, he, he went 9 1 against Paul Blake. Or 8 1. Like, he went, like, some absurd record. But. <laughs> That being said, I don't think the matchup's good for for blue black. I think Coblet's actually still favored. I mean, in Paris, we just I think we beat blue black every single time we played. Uh, yeah. Are, are all those squadron hawks in play? Yeah. Got to untap those lands. <laughs> oh yeah. Equip, play part. a hawk attack, untap your lands, play two more hawks. Like, oh look, Jace. So at least he gets the moral victory. This is all he wants. This is he's he's where he wants to be right now. Yeah, he got the pit seal, yeah. How can you how can you lose at this point? Yeah, he's got Jace. So. And even, yeah, like Black Zenith, which I don't think he even has that in after board, but like, what does, doesn't solve the problem here. So Dan's gonna... He's gonna keep throwing more stuff in play, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't tell what he has that cost three. Thing is, he, he if he wants to untap his lands, he can't kill Jace, which is, I guess, the only thing Waffle's got going for him. <laughs> but, oh look, he's got his own Jace to so just... Does Jace or Jace? Yeah. Jace or Jace hit you for six. Discard on top of my lands. Does he even have a Gideon? Paid four mana for a pitch. Oh, it's a Sun Titan. Yeah, I can't quite cast that one yet. So now you just play Hawk. I would assume. Uh, I mean, I guess if Waffle has Black Sun Zenith, that could be bad, but I wouldn't really put him on it. I don't think you want to attack him here either. You'd rather play your Sun Titan next turn. Looks like Dan's debating the tech edge, but Waffle's got no five drops that really matter, and he's got Dan's got a six six drop in his hand. So. Right, Dan did play a squadron hawk for self spring. He just moved it over. Yeah. Inquisition. The whole squadron is there. Yep, man. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, congratulations, to Dan Jordan. He moves on to um, X two. Ten and two. Okay, I tried. I tried, to, I tried to actually do the math. Okay, okay so ten two. So he's got to go two one one or three two rounds. Two oh one. Sorry. He has to go two oh yeah. one top eight. Yeah. So you know. Wins two rounds and makes top eight, presumably. Waffle's still in for top, top 16. 16. If he wins out, if he 3 0s, he's top 16. Yeah, I mean, there's Dan. The only way that's going to be they play Yeah, that's the game, right? 